Gallon Youth welcome Oxford United under 14s to County Tyrone in a National League game on Saturday morning. The Gallon in the yellow and Oxford in the red and black. The visiting defence were tested early on when Dungannon won a series of corners, but Oxford showed good resolve in the early stages. Next up a corner for Oxford United which was only semi-cleared. The ball was put back in and Dungannon keeper Oshin Gibson had to be alert to tip over the bar. Next up it was the home side to threaten and Connor Falls shot just flashed by the wrong side of the post. In a tight game winning the ball in midfield was always going to be tough. Sean McAllister did that and played a lovely through ball which was slightly too heavy this time. Oxford United with the next side to come forward but Peter Boyle just couldn't control a difficult dropping high ball. Chances were thin on the ground in a tight and competitive first half with both defences on top and taking no chances. Just before the break, Dungannon opened the scoring and edged in front as Connor Falls punched on a loose ball and fired into the bottom right corner. 1-0 Dungannon. And with Dungannon on top just before the half-time whistle, the lead was almost doubled when this effort just flashed wide of the post. Into the second half now and this Aaron Donnelly free kick didn't trouble JP Shields in the Oxford goal. Dungannon were playing with real confidence and playing some lovely football but Liam Tolman couldn't hit the target this time after a fine move. At 1-0 down, Oxford United were still in the game, but Jack Miller's effort was straight at Oshin Gibson in the Dungannon goal. Then came claims for a handball inside the area, but the referee didn't agree. At full time it finished and Gallon Youth won, Oxford United nil. Overall not disappointed, we're well pleased with our performance, thought it was a cracking game. Dungannon's one of the fixtures we look forward to every year. They're both teams capable of playing good quality football and that's what we've seen today. Uh, the difference between the teams is probably a wee mistake in the first half. We came in disappointed at half time. We thought we probably shaded at half time, possession wise and pressure wise, but a wee simple mistake. But it happens in youth football, and the boys will just look back on it and we'll learn from it. And, and that's the main thing we'll learn from the mistakes. Happy with the outcome. Uh, I think more importantly, happy with the performance as well. Um, you know, I think that's, first and foremost, that's what we look for, a performance in the way that we want them to play. Uh, so we did, we did do that. Um, what let us down slightly today was end product um, and finishing. I thought uh, we dominated possession for, for the majority of the game, but we just couldn't get that second goal despite all that there. Uh, and then, of course, in the nature of the game, uh, you're kind of, you know, a bit nervy at the finish. but. Um, overall, very, very pleased with the performance and uh, secondary, um, the added bonus of getting three points as well. 